Hello, this is Ranji Raj, and today I am going to talk you about the runs above and below mean. In my previous video, I talked about the runs up and down. Now, this is runs above and below the mean. So, this is the algorithm of runs above and below the mean. So, first, this step one remains the same as runs up and down. That is to define the hypothesis for testing the independence. And second step is to write down the sequence of runs above and below mean. Now, for this. The sequence in runs up and runs down, we have this plus minus sequence. But for runs above below mean, you have the sequence of like 0.495 or 49.5. Now, when to use these two values? If your given set of numbers are in decimals like 0.1 or 1.3 or 1.4, then you will use 0.495. Or if your numbers are a whole integers like 53, 64, 70, then you will write 49.5 means you have to compare this value with this threshold value if this set of numbers contain 53 then you have to compare 53 with 49.5 53 is greater than 49.5 you will write a plus 64 is greater than 49.5 you will write plus 70 is greater than 49.5 you will write plus but if a number like 23 comes this number is less than this so you will write minus so I will be talking in detail about this sequence in my problems video. So this is the algorithm. Next you have to count the number of observations above and below the mean. That is for above the mean it is n1 and number of observations below the mean that is n2. That is n1, n2 and count the b that is the total number of runs. Now b for runs above below mean and a for runs up and down. Now after this you have to compare the mean and variance of b in runs up and runs down you had mu a and mu b sorry uh, mu a and uh, sigma a square now in this you have mu b and sigma b square now this formula is a bit big formula you have to memorize it that is 2 times of n1 n2 divided by capital n plus half that is the mu b that is mean and variance 2 times n1 into n2 multiplied by 2 times n1 into minus capital N divided by n square into n minus 1. Now this formula you have to by heart. Now you make sure that you memorize the formula very well. Make it by heart and then implement in your problem. Next is step 5 that is the computing the standard normal statistics z0 as b minus mu b upon sigma b where z0 is normally distributed in the interval 0 1 and now step 6 and step 7 remain same as the runs up runs down that is you have to calculate z alpha by 2 and minus z alpha by 2 for a given los that is for alpha as 0 0.0 for any other value they usually give it as 0 0.05 and step 7 you have to compare whether this computed value of z0 lies within that range so this is the algorithm basically of runs above and below mean so if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video